Uh, he says it will be difficult for the uh, energy sector to repeat its 2022 performance. John Kildup is here. He's founding partner at Again Capital and a CNBC contributor. Welcome. Hello, Kelly. Anything jump out to you from what you just heard from Scott Sheffield? I think the uh, probably the biggest takeaway is, you know, he highlighted what we all, a lot of us in the market see is this vulnerability to a price spike higher. Well, there's not a lot of room for error. I made the sort of the joking analogy that it's sort of like traffic going to Manhattan across George Washington Bridge. Most days, millions of cars go across fine, but you get one little accident and kaboom, three hours to get across. But what do you mean about the concern would be a price spike higher? Because wouldn't <clears throat> the issue for them be a, be a price collapse? Well, that, that's true. But I mean, again, the narrative around the market right now, why oil prices are at 80 bucks right now, is that uh, there's, there's concerns about China coming back online and, and really ramping up uh, demand. Uh, also, too, uh, issues about, uh, you know, our own economy uh, and what the Fed may or may not do to mm -hmm. the extent the Fed's pivoting or there's concern in the market about them pivoting, uh, you know, that bodes for more demand. And also, too, we're starting to get an eyes on the uh, summer driving season upon us. Uh, we usually start to spike well ahead of that, uh, which is pretty much now. Yeah. So that's that's the other issue. So there's a lot of vulnerabilities in this market, but I, I got to highlight that they're vulnerabilities because it's been sort of the same narrative for a good year or so plus that, you know, the sky is falling, we're going back to triple digit, just never happens. Well, I, I do take note when someone like Carter Worth becomes a buyer of crude and the fact that, we, you know, it has been so weak for so long. If it goes back to the upside, it's going to be a big problem for the broader economy, as you're talking about. Maybe great for the producers, though. Where do you think that we are headed? What, what to you, we're at 80 now. Are we going to end the year where we started on WTI? You know, nat gas, is there a risk we spike higher there as well? What do you think? Well, certainly natural gas, the, the, the absolute collapse that we've seen argues for a rebound. We saw some of that on Friday, although it's now it's back down again. Right. It's been a, a casino of late, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, trade small, if at all, on that one for now. Right. <laughs> My friends here, viewers. Um, but oil, I think, look, I think what, chart, what, 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 uh, what the charts are saying, uh, charter worth, I guess we call them. Yes. Um, you know, does point to an upside breakout. It does. Um, and, and again, the, the, the narrative and, and the sort of bullish mentality in the market also could become a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm skeptical of a couple of things, one of the things being the China reopening. I'm not sure they're going to come, come back at us guns ablazing, but we'll see. You guess a moment ago we're talking about sort of how that might be a, a tricky proposition or it might not come to fruition. And I know you're having another guest later I think is going to talk about a lot of problems with their economy too. So I'm not as afraid of that as some are. So, but I do have to yield right now to the market sentiment that, that says higher for now. But I do think we could have see, see a return to much lower prices later in the year. In the Quick.